Just wanted to take a few minutes here to welcome everybody to the new YouTube channel called Hunk and Junk. I've been doing this for several several years now, but I've mainly been focused on Facebook. And I've had quite a bit of success. I've converted a lot of people over to doing what I do, and that's the one thing that I really enjoy the most is seeing the reactions that people get whenever they see what me and other people have come up with for these old toy trucks. A hobby that may have been getting stale for a while and has just really been revamped here recently. Um, but anyway, here's a few of my builds. These are some 57 Tonka pickup trucks. And the little hot rod in the middle was actually a Nylant 10 Lizzie that I've done a lot of work to. Made a new frame, made a new seat, just made it up real cool. Found some cool tires. A little camper trailer, I made that from scratch. This is the first one I've made, so it's not really all that great. But it is pretty cool. It's still got the old spot welds on it from where I put it together and stuff. And the door is kind of not all that grand. I've got a completely new design now that's a lot better. But it is a cool little camper. And uh, I do make some of these and sell them. Uh, make another style camper that's a double axle. And I also make a teardrop. The topper that's on the back of the 57 Tonka in the background, I make those from scratch as well. Um, it does have an opening door in the back. Let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. Turn him around. Hadn't been opened in a while. The doors all do open. This is my newer design of a door, so it's a lot better, a lot stiffer. Everything is hand cut. There's nothing done with machinery, really. Um, I use shears, hand shears. And also, while I've got you here, this is on my workbench and my new workbench. So it's kind of small and petite, cramped right now, but it'll get better over time. This is my little anvil, and this is what I do a lot of my work with, a little Harbor Freight spot welder. It does a great job. It really does. I've had it for going on two years. This is the one that plugs into the regular outlet normally has a handle that goes over the top but I took all that off I don't need all that crap it just gets in the way but it does work really really well I've only had to replace the diodes one time and I'm getting to where I need to replace this and whenever I did replace them it came with two sets for like seven or eight dollars and I've got the other set that I need to put in it it's just a little these little tips just screw out and you screw new ones in I uh, got my little belt sander over here that I use a lot uh, just basic hand tools my favorite hand tool however and I'll be going over this in a video coming up soon these are called Jilson shears so keep an eye out for these you'll really be impressed whenever I show you how these work and what you can do with them they're an amazing tool for sheet metal and doing this little intricate stuff without those I couldn't do a lot of what I do and my other favorite tool let me zoom over here you have to excuse my mess I've just moved into just moved my shop in but this is a three-in-one shear. It's a 29 inch from Harbor Freight also, but I've had it for well over a year and I've had nothing but great, great pro uh, results from it. Down here you've got the shear. Whenever you raise it up, this part is the brake. And then you've got the roller up here. So. These machines are outstanding. You can make all kinds of stuff with this, and this really opened up my world to a lot of new things. Um, and the only other tool I've got in here really is my little air compressor over here in the corner. It does get loud. And uh, my shipping table. And my tunes and my cat. He's pretty cool. He likes to lay there and watch. My dog likes to lay in there on the couch and be lazy. My cat comes in here and likes to play with toys with me. But anyway, thank you guys for stopping by, and while you're here, there's an icon somewhere on this screen, find it, and it'll say like and subscribe. If you like and subscribe, and then press the little bell thingy, it'll let you know whenever I post a new video with some new cool truck. And also while you're at it, if you're a frequent member of Facebook and you like to go on there all the time, look me up on there. I'm Hunkin' Junk. Uh, my name is Ronnie Fraley. I build some cool stuff and I post a lot of pictures. And I encourage a lot of builders and a lot of group members to do the same thing. Uh, if this is something that you're interested in getting into, check me out on Facebook. Follow me on there. Follow me on here. I'll show you a lot of really cool stuff that I've had to learn the hard way. One of those cool things is the Jilson shears. took me a really long time to figure out how to get the results 
that these give me without using a cutoff wheel. I don't like cutoff wheels. I never have. I've seen people get hurt pretty bad with them and I try to avoid them, but I use them a lot, but I try to avoid them. These take, took the place of a cutoff wheel in a lot of areas and I'll show you how that works in the future. So if you got any questions, comments, just comment down below. I'll be happy to, to read them. I re, I'll be reading them all the time. And uh, I'll personally answer everything. It's just me. I don't have help. And everything that you see on here is all done by me. Every comment that you see in the comment sections from Hunk and Junk is from me. Is from Hunk and Junk. So thanks again for being here. And I hope to see you again soon. Keep on junking. Grab them old toys and save them. Put them up. And let me show you what to do with them. Have a great day.